So when it comes to chipmunk interdiction, which uh, I've got a problem with them. There's tons of them out here and they dig holes in my driveway. They pull the insulation out from under my house. So you gotta have a proper setup for this. <clears throat> and now you can kinda, you probably can't tell but my rifle is not level. So I'm gonna shorten one of the bipod legs. Try to get that settled down. Oop. It's still <clears throat> a little. Turn the power back a little bit. And it's like bright daytime, so I don't need illumination. Now we're level, nice and level. Got a rangefinder. You need the proper ammunition. So, after seeing what this stuff can do to a regular squirrel, <clears throat> I've decided that this is the stuff to use. It's pretty accurate, it shoots good groups, but this is the Aguila Interceptor, and it's a 40 grain hollow point at 1470 feet per second. So these are supersonic, and I think they're supersonic, almost up to uh, about 100 yards, about 80, 90 yards, something like that. So they are kind of loud, so another piece of equipment you might need, hearing protection. Probably a good idea. I already saw this little guy out here earlier this morning and he's typically about 50 to 70 yards down my driveway at least they're not up here next to the house anymore shouldn't need more than a couple rounds of this stuff leave the safety on for now because I haven't seen the little guy yet at least not in the last 15 minutes or so You gotta sometimes get a little tactical, shoot with both eyes open. That way you can, you know, be aware of everything around going on around you. So your rear bag is kind of a really important component here too and you can use your hand and you squeeze it and manipulate it it'll raise the stock up or you can pull it and settle it down into that bag get it nice and tight where it's just really not moving at all <clears throat> and you should practice doing this with all of your rifles for long range shooting cut the video right now we're just gonna kind of chill and wait for a few minutes see if he comes out I got eyes on him oh shoot
He went over into the brush. Try to get a range. Okay, so where he's coming out at and where he's going, it's like right at 60, 65 yards. Okay, he's back out. Here we go. I think we got him. <clears throat> All right, it's a perfect call to add two tents. Got the little dude. No more digging holes up in my driveway. I figured at that range, I'm, I'm zeroed for 50. So I figured at that range, I'd need to come up just a little bit. So I added two tents in the middle. Got her done one shot, one kill. <clears throat> Test control complete. Probably won't see another one for a couple days. But yeah, that's the setup right there for varmint control. Another thing, too, is uh, when you're out shooting in an area should always police up your brass don't leave any trace behind where you're at don't leave any signs that you were actually there it's just a good practice to have whether you're out hunting or doing something like this as a job <laughs> so clean up don't leave anything behind 